Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Gaston goes to school. Here, yeah, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. Uh, Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <coughs> 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 Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> drop! <coughs> drop! Drop! <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the ant. <laughs> hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh no, it's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh no! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time, good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh, he never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel. Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, 
okay? To the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now. Who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh. Archie can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh. Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present. Gaston! Fetch my boot! Oh no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots! Drop! Hey. Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it! Gaston is now trained! Thank you, Miss Jolly! My pleasure! Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule! Show them who's boss! Yes, Miss Jolly! Bye! Doodle Pip! Bye, Bye Miss, Miss Jolly. Jolly! It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. Oh, well. Should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. <laughs> Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes. Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes. He can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah! He's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes. We were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> <laughs>
Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Frog Prince. Hello, Mrs Elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Can Ben come out to play? Sounds like he's on his way down already. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Princes and princesses. Okay. I can be the princess because I am a princess. And I can be the prince. Yes. I'll turn you into a prince by magic. Can't we just pretend I'm a prince? No. Magic is much better. Abracazobadu. <laughs> oh, I seem to have turned Ben into a frog. Ha! <laughs> I always get frogs and princes mixed up. Ben, if you can hear me, croak. Good. I'm going to get help. Wait here. Nanny Plum, come quick. I've turned Ben into a frog. Oh, good. You've been practising your magic. No, no. It was an accident. Ben is not happy being a frog. Frogs are never happy. Can you help me turn Ben into himself again? All right. Now calm down. I'll fetch my wand while you wait with Ben. OK. Make sure he doesn't hop off. Frogs do that. <laughs> Ben's gone. Now I'll never find Ben and he'll be a frog forever. Hi, Holly. Hello, Violet. What's wrong? I've turned Ben into a frog and he's hopped off somewhere. Hmm. He'll be at the pond. That's where frogs live. Of course. Come on, let's go and find him. <laughs> Look! Yes, that must be Ben. Hello, Ben. I hear you've been naughty and got yourself turned into a frog. You really should have waited like I told you. Yes, poor Holly was really worried. Oh, maybe this frog isn't Ben. Maybe that one looks a bit like Ben. But so does that one. <sighs> They all look the same. We'll never find Ben. Look, one of them is wearing a hat. Does Ben wear a hat? Hmm, I think so. Holly, don't you know? He's your best friend. Yes, Ben wears a hat. Hi, Ben. If it's really you, do a croak. Last. You've no idea what a time we've had trying to find you. Now, Ben, don't worry. Nanny Plum will be here soon and she knows the spell to turn you back again. We don't need Nanny Plum. I know lots of spells. Uh, Violet, I think we should just wait for Nanny. No, no, no. Turning frogs back into elves is easy peasy. Watch this. Zabbity Z, turn yourself into whatever you be. You see, I told you I could do it. Well done, Violet. Ah, oh, that was horrible. I was a frog and I was eating flies. Oh, I don't think my spell is quite finished. Oh, oh Ben's turned into a bird. That wasn't meant to happen. Now we will never, ever find him. Oh. Hi, Holly and Violet. Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby. Have you seen Ben? I want to play football with him. Uh, I don't think you can play football with a bird. Bird? Yes, Violet turned Ben into a bird. 
You changed him into a frog first. Well, anyway, now he's flown away and we will never find him. It's very annoying. Hmm, birds live in trees, so we need to look up in the trees. Strange, one of those birds is wearing a hat. That's Ben. But that nest is very high. And we're not allowed to fly high. Then it's a lucky thing I'm around. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <laughs> ben, is that you? Easy now. Don't fly away. Hooray! Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah. Oh. Now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh. Here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog. Then a bird. And now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadi, you should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadi Z. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadi. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadi Zabadi Z. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Er, uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. Hey, it worked. <coughs> Into birds. Zabadi Z. And into rabbits. Abracazabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. Well done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No. no. How about a game of football? Yes. yes, football. And the rules say no magic. OK. okay.
Yes, I think we've had quite enough magic for one day. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. Elf rescue! Aha! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha, my little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking! Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? Elf Rescue? Hello! Redbeard here. My boat is sinking. I see you, Redbeard. Hang on. Elf Rescue are go. Calling all units to the lake. Redbeard's boat is sinking. Elf Rocket, A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK. -okay. Elf Submarine, A-OK. -okay. Elf Rescue are go. Hang on. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on. I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps! My favourite! Thank you so much! Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum! It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue! Thank you, Elf Rescue! Not at all! Whenever you need us, just call! Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming.
The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue! I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> elf Rescue! Ah, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Mm. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. Launching mole. <laughs> Good. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -dee dum. Ah! Elf rescue. Help! Help me, elf rescue. Nanny Palum, I told you. Elf Rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. right -oh. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day. Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Hello. Thank you for calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh. Shout for help. Help! Help! Listen, someone's shouting for help. Help! Help! help. They need rescuing. We can rescue them. We can be Children Rescue. Hooray! Children Rescue are go! Go, go, go! Ben, Holly. We're Children Rescue. Thank goodness you're here. Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Keep still! OK. Lift Gaston! Lift! What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time. I know. I can magic him out of the mud. Oh, yes. Good idea, Holly. No, no, no. No magic. I want to be rescued properly. That is properly. Magic is cheating. Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out. No magic. Please. No, 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 no. Magic, please. Oh. Ah. Hooray! Well done, children rescue. Hello. You rang us, wise old elf. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out elf rescue for no reason. But... 
bad. It wasn't for no reason. Children Rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh, in that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes, biscuits are go. Go, go, go! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The King's Busy Day. Food delivery. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping my dad today. He's very busy. Thank you, Mr. L. Got the dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Daddy, are you busy? I'm King Thistle. I'm always busy. I have lots of important work to do. You're not working now. I am. I'm practising sitting still without falling asleep. That's not work. It is King's work. And it's harder than it looks. Oh, what else is King's work? Making speeches, shaking hands and waving a lot. <laughs> that sounds fun. Can I help you work today? Of course, Holly. Oh, goody. Magic car, drive on. Now, the first job for any king is waving. It's a bit boring, but you do it like this. Oh, look! It's the king! Hello! 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 Hello. It's Princess Holly! Hello! <laughs> this is fun! Yes, a good wave will work wonders wherever you go. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! This is where I make a speech. <coughs> well done, elves, for building this boat. It uh, looks like a good one. And I'm sure you will have a lot of uh, fun with it. Jolly good show. Now we smash a bottle of sparkling fairy juice against the side of the boat. Ah, oh. but where is the fairy juice? <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. We're very busy today. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye. <laughs> I declare this elf boat well and truly launched. <laughs> What do we do now? We shake hands and ask questions. Hello. And what do you do? I hammer metal, Your Majesty. How very interesting. Hello. And what do you do? I'm the ship's cook, Your Majesty. How very interesting. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm the captain, Princess Holly. How very interesting. Daddy, can we ride on the boat? Please? Good idea, Holly. I never get to try these things. Captain, would it be possible to ride on your boat, please? It would be an honour, Your Majesty. Nice, Daddy. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? I don't know why I've never done this before. Would you like some lunch, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I am rather hungry. Me too. Telephone for Your Majesty. Someone called Nanny Plum? <coughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. <coughs> yes. Yes, of course. Right away. Nanny says I have to get back to work. 
about lunch. I know. But there is more important king work to be done. But, Daddy, you're king. That means you're in charge. Ah, Holly. Everyone thinks I'm in charge, but really, I get told what to do all the time. When are we having lunch, Nanny? There's no time for lunch, Your Majesty. You have to judge a fairy fruit and vegetable competition. How do you do that, Daddy? How do I do that, Nanny? You pick the biggest. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course, the tomato. Mmm, delicious. Now for pudding, the strawberry. Mmm, scrumptious. Yum, yum. They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! Hooray! So, where's the trophy? <laughs> Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Bye. Hmm, that was delicious. Now I'd like a little nap. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's no time for that. But I'm tired, Nanny. You must make another speech at the Festival of Elf and Fairy Dancing. Oh, I don't know anything about dancing. How can I make a speech about it? Daddy, I can do a speech. I've been watching you do it all day. Excellent. You can make the speech, Holly. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Look, Mr. Elf has bought the musical instruments. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Even worse. Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> I like your work, Daddy. It's fun. Oh, you're right, 
Polly. King's work is fun. Oh, that was a busy day. Ho, ho. Yes, it was. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy's school. I knew this shortcut through the meadow wasn't a good idea. You'll be late for school, Lucy. Hee <laughs> hee, but I love going this way. We might meet my little elf and fairy friends again. Lucy, the other day when we thought we saw elves and fairies, it was a very hot day, and I'm afraid we let our imaginations run away with us. There really aren't any such things as fairies and elves. Good morning, Lucy's dad. Ah, uh, good morning, little elf. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. Come on, Lucy. You'll be late for school. Uh, bye, little people. I'm going to school. It's nature day. Can we come? It'd be a brilliant adventure. Yes. No, no. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy. Like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy. Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad. <laughs> this is my school. Wow, so many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or well, you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No toys in class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. But, Miss Cookie, it was a real fairy. Thank you, Katie. Let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, what's this? She's got Nanny's wand. <laughs> it's sparkly. That girl doesn't know she's doing magic. Miss Cookie, there's a frog on my desk. Oh, what? Oh, where did he spring from? Well, well, can anyone tell me what kind of animal a frog is? Well, it's a kitten. It's not a kitten. Oh, my goodness, 
It is a kitten. We have to stop her. I'll do a spell to lift the wand out of her hand. Uh, Zooby Zooby's hair float in the air. Oh dear, I didn't mean to lift her as well. Miss Cookie, Katie's out of her seat. Sit down, please, Katie. Good, she's dropped the wand. I'll go and get it. Wait for me. Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll. And a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue. Hello? Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go! I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky. But, oh, no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf! Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye. Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? Bye. Now I've seen everything. Cheerio. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great. So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, 
Cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter? Don't tell me. You've seen them too? Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Yeah, good idea. I think we got away with that. Only a couple of people saw us. Lucy. And her dad. And all her friends. And her teacher, thanks to the wise old elf. Yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves. Mm, yes. What's it worth? Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Fun and games. This is my very special cupcake recipe using flour, honey, milk, chocolate and an apple. Yummy! <laughs> now we add an egg. <laughs> wow, Mum! We give it a little stir. OK. Splish, splash, splosh, splosh. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Holly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping Mum make cakes. Ooh, can I help? Fairies are good at making cakes. Of course, Princess Holly. You can help with the stirring. That's my favourite bit. Splashing and sploshing the cake mixture. <laughs> I'd like more stirring and less splashing and sploshing, please. <laughs> <laughs> Splish, splash, splosh, splush. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should do the stirring. OK, Mrs Elf. Very good stirring, Holly. It could have been a bit more splashy. <laughs> Next, we put the mixture into the cake tin. It looks really yummy. Mmm, can we have one now? Sorry, Ben, I have to bake them in the oven first. Oh, can't we just cook them with magic? <laughs> These are elf cakes baked without magic. But magic can bake them really quick. I'll show you. No thanks, Holly. Remember, elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Are the cakes ready yet? <laughs> they haven't even started cooking. Oh, maybe Holly should use a bit of magic. I think a better idea would be if you two played outside for a bit and I call you in when the cakes are ready. Oh, do we have to? Just think of some fun games to play. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. <laughs> Have fun! I wish those cakes didn't take so long to bake. Me too. I suppose we might as well try playing a game. OK. How about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> You're running too fast! I can't help it! Elves are good at running fast! And I'm an elf! <laughs> it's not fair! Fairies can't run as fast as elves! OK, I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me! <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you! <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. 
I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a new game. Yes. Hide and seek. OK. We'll play hide and seek. Yippee! I love hide and seek. <laughs> but no flying. OK. No flying. One, two, three. No looking. OK. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Hmm, Ben's quite well hidden. Not there. Hmm, not there either. Hmm, Ben, give me a clue. Please. You're very cold. <laughs> Getting colder. Oh. Warmer, <laughs> hot, hotter and hotter. <laughs> Found you. Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, oh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Good hiding place, eh, Holly? It was okay, I suppose. Elves always hide well, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> My turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben said no flying, but he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? No, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abcrack a dibbly dibble. Make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> You might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh, how did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh. I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Ben! Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. 
Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> 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 